Shalom family. Right, we're here. All praises to the Most High. In Yahushua's name, that's why we're here. Um, we're here specifically to learn about how Esau is not white. Esau is actually brown, right? Esau is not white. Esau is brown. And we've got the scriptures to prove it. So without further ado, let's get into this. Esau was brown, skin not white. Genesis 25, 25. And the first came out, red all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. So when Esau came out, his skin was red and his body was hairy like it was a garment right because they used to wear animal skins these times now some people break it down to mean that his hair was red but just to prove that Esau's hair wasn't red and it was his skin that was red the Brenton Septuagint translation gives another you know witness to how it's truly meant to be understood and it reads and the first came out red so it's saying that he came out red which is in relation to what, what his complexion was hairy all over like a skin so it was hairy like an animal skin that they used to wear and she called his name Esau all right and then the English standard version which is um, a very good version because it uses a lot of the manuscripts that we've got in modern day to render the Bible accurately it says the first came out red all his body like a hairy cloak so they called his name Esau so let you know that he came out red his skin was red um, red skin as we're going to come to understand through scripture is something similar to this it's like a brown with like a reddish kind of tint in it okay because when you look on the um, color spectrum you know red you know brown is just um, it just derives from red okay it's just a dark red that's what brown is we know this as you can see here we've got an Esau looking baby here look at him came out all hairy like a garment he's got hair on his forehead hair on his arms hairy baby but he would have had this reddish kind of ruddy complexion i'm going to get more understanding genesis chapter 27 verse 11 and jacob said to rebecca his mother behold esau my brother is a hairy man now i'm a smooth man this is just further proving that esau was hairy okay so that's what was significant about esau it was that he was hairy. The thing that set Esau apart wasn't that he was white. It wasn't his complexion. What made Esau peculiar was that he was a hairy man. Okay. And he was a baby that was born hairy. So check this out, yeah. Exodus chapter 25 verse 5. I feel like this music might be a bit too loud. Let's turn this down. There we go. Exodus 25 and verse 5. Yeah, this is semi loud. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of loud. There we go. Exodus 25 verse 5. So now, people are going to try and use this verse to try and say, this is the kind of red that Esau came out. And they're going to say, well, check it out. Exodus 25 verse 5. And ram skin dyed red, and badger skin, and chitin wood. So they say that, well, because Esau came out red like a hairy garment. This is the hairy garment that came out like is a ram skin. And then they say, oh, this is like white people's complexion. So let's say he came out red like a ram skin. Is this like a white person's complexion? Yeah? Because we have to bear in mind that red comes in many different shades. And it's saying that he came out like a ram skin dyed red. So now let's understand this word red, which is in the Strong's H119. Let's see what this colour red is compared to, so we can get a good understanding of what kind of red this is. To know what kind of red complexion Esau was, to see if it was like a white person, or if it was like a so-called brown person. And before we even get into that, check this out. 1 Samuel 17 and verse 42. And it reads this. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was but a youth. He put another thing, I'm not really feeling that right now. That was a bit cray cray. All right, 1 Samuel 17 and 42. And when the Philistines looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was but a youth and ruddy and of a fair countenance. So what's interesting is this word to describe David is the word ruddy. 
and it's the strong's number H132. And it's the same strong's number that was used to describe Esau's complexion. So let's just get that in the blue letter just to confirm that Esau is the same color as King David. So King David shares the same pigment, the same complexion as King David. So that has implications. The implications of that would be that if these Israelites are saying that Esau is white because the scripture says that he was red. If camps are using that verse to substantiate Esau being white, right? Then you'd have to also teach that King David was a white man. Because if Esau is described as being the same color as King David, as I'm about to prove to you, and if Esau is white, then King David must be white. And if King David's white, then King Solomon must be white. And if Esau was white, then Jacob must have been white as well. And then clearly the whole doctrine crumbles. So we can see this whole Esau being white makes no sense. It's not consistent with the understanding of the scripture. It's not consistent with how the Hebrews, as we can see in the scripture, were mistaken for Hamites. And we know Hamites were black. So there's no way the Israelites could have been white. And because the Israelites couldn't have been white, yeah, that's letting you know that, you know, Jacob obviously wasn't white and clearly his son wasn't white either. Esau wasn't white because if Esau was white, then King David must have been white. And, you know, that right there goes directly against doctrine of the scripture. So I hope you're following that. And my laptop's been a little bit slow right now, so I just got to wait for this mouse to start responding again. Here we go. Praise the most high. Nope. Still don't want to respond. Still wants to act funny. Come on, man. we got to bring this truth out, man. Yeah, this, this Mac is on its last leg of the race. It's on its last breath, man. It's getting on in age. But here we go, right? So we go for this word red. This is the color that Esau was, according to the scripture. It's the Hebrew word Admoni, right? And what we're going to see is that this word also crops up elsewhere this red complexion and is used to describe King David twice so Esau was Admoni in complexion and so was King David so as I'm saying Esau was brown skin red brown and King David was also brown skin but if the camps are saying he's white then you'd have to say Esau came out white yeah and so was King David because it says here 1 Samuel 16 and 12. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and withal of a beautiful countenance and goodly to look to. And Yahuwah said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. And verse 13 lets you know it's talking about David. And 1 Samuel 17 42. When the Philistines looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was but a youth and ruddy and of a fair countenance. So King David was a youth and he was red. So are you telling me that King David was also red, the same colour as Esau? If you're telling me that, then, you know, if you're telling me that Esau is white, then King David is white, and we know that is not true. And we can see that the word ruddy is also connected to being, you know, good-looking as well, because it was a desirable complexion according to the scripture. Now, moving back to this doctrine that I've got established here, praise the most high, work our way for the doctrine sheet. So now, as we can see, we've got someone that better fits the bill of Esau's complexion. Brown skinned man, reddish tinge, looking ruddy. Okay, now this is what a son of Jacob was looking like. That's what Esau was looking like. He weren't looking like these people here. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. So now we're going to go and dive into this word ruddy, this word red. To understand what the Most High compares that complexion as. Because we know if the Most High is saying Esau was red. Well what kind of red was he? Because red comes in many different complexions. Was he red like... Was he bright red? Was he dark red? Let's find out. Proverbs 23 and 31. Look not thou upon the wine when it is red. So it's saying that wine now is ruddy. 
when it giveth his colour in the cup, when it moveth itself aright. So now we understand that wine in a cup is ruddy. And this is what we see. This dark tinge of red. Yeah, which is consistent with this and not with the white. Okay. So this is the kind of red that Esau resembled. Red like wine. And let's go further into it. Lamentation 4 and 7. The Nazarites were purer than snow. They were whiter than milk. They were more ruddy. So this is red again. In body than the rubies. Their polishing was of sapphire. So this is the word for red, right? And actually we can see a different word being used for um, King David's complexion. He was ruddy. And that word's admoni. But the, com the, the base word for this word, admoni, is adam. And adam is this here, H119. So the root word for the complexion of King David and Esau is the red that we see here. So we can see this red is directly connected to this red. So the red of David is the red of wine. That's what he looked like. And here, this red of the Nazarites, the Israelites, was the redness of a ruby, was the ruddiness of a ruby. And this is the complexion of a ruby. It's dark red, not resembling white people. Okay. So this is the complexion that we see scripture is showing us in relation to when it's saying red, in relation to someone's complexion. This is the color the Most High is showing us in the scripture. Now, if Esau was a white man, we'd have seen these words here being used to describe his complexion. He wouldn't have been called red or ruddy. He'd have been called white. He'd have been called white. Because the Bible literally shows you that there is white skin in the Bible. White skin is regarded in the Bible. And Leviticus 13 and 4 tells us, If a bright spot be white in the skin of his flesh, so what colour skin has he got? White skin, not red skin, as the camps teach. And in sight be not deeper than the skin, and the hair thereof be not turned white, then the priest shall shut up him that hath the plague seven days. So it just told us there that you can have white skin, right? And this white skin is the Hebrew word Laban. So if Esau was a white man, it'd have been called Laban. It wouldn't have been called Admoni. All right. Let's see if that wants to work for me. And as you can see, look, these black people here, we get this thing called vertiligo, where our skin, we lose the pigment. And this is actually the bright spot it's talking about in Leviticus 13. It's when our skin turns white. We get this bright spot in our skin of whiteness. All right. And this is the same color that white people's skin is naturally. So if the Bible is referring to our skin as white when it turns in vertiligo like this when our skin turns leprous if it's ter if that color is called white and that's the same color as this of these two white people that shows that according to the scripture the most high regards white people as white he doesn't call them red red people look like rubies red people look like wine red people look like the sheepskin dyed red okay they look ruddy they look brown according to the bible red people are brown and white people are white you get me? They're not white like paper, but this is what we call white. Because he's not white like the backdrop. You can still see the backdrop next to him. She's not white like the backdrop, but they're white skin. So we don't have to get over technical with it. And now Numbers chapter 12, verse 10. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. So right here, the scripture bears witness that. Miriam's skin became leprous. It was like this. Her whole body was like this. But what do we call that? That's white. And what does the scripture call it? White. So if Esau was a white man, he would have been called leprous, white as snow. He wouldn't have been called red. Okay. And, you know, 